Hey up everybody, I'm over on my milling machine today and I'm going to make an adapter to fit my woodworking router with a grinding wheel in. And I'm wanting to do that to make a single point gear cutting tool. Uh, so what it is then, if you saw one of my latest videos, I, I did some metric I showed you how to metric screw cut in an imperial lathe with just a couple of extra gears without the expense of having to buy a full metric set. So take a look back at that if you're interested. And in that video I mentioned that I'd either mislaid my 34 tooth gear or at more likely I've lent it to somebody and I've not got it back. Because you know it's very rare I use them. So I'm going to make another 34 tooth Myford gear wheel. Well, I'm going to make a 33 and all while I'm at it. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, I've tried to find a 20 dp 14 and a half degree pressure angle cutter, a number five cutter that will cut 33 and 34 teeth, but I'm having trouble locating one. I can get a full set from China. But I didn't want to go to that expense of buying a full set when I'll never ever use them. And not only that, they'd probably probably be poor quality anyway. Um, the price of them anyway. So I'm going to make a single point cutting tool to cut this gear. Making me grinder fit me milling machine is so I can get the profile of the tool uh, symmetrical on both sides. It's not super critical that the profile is bang on. They only running quite slow anyway. As long as it's somewhere near, it's it's quite adequate. The only trouble is, is trying to grind them freehand, and it can be done. Is the uh, is getting the equal profile on both sides. So that's what I'm going to do then. Uh, so I'll do a few shots of me making this uh, adapter and see how successful it is. So uh, stay tuned, and I'll put some uh, I'll put some clips in of me doing it. <laughs> 